Hey, how you all doing? Welcome to this Enlarge tutorial. So this Enlarge tutorial, I know I've called it um, sort of reflection, but it's not reflection or a um, double reflection. It's it's a bit of everything really. So there's lots of tools. That we, um, so it's a really good tutorial because we use filters, we use um, the resizing, we use the skew tool, we use um, the mixer tool, we use the borders, we use the resizing. Really, really good um, demo of a lot of tools within Enlight. So, um, so this is what we're going to make. And um, let's get on and make that. So I'll put these two images so you can see, obviously um, that's the end product on the left hand side at the bottom of the screen. And the two images that I've got in front of me um, is what we started with. So I'll put these two images in the description below of this video so you can just um, go, and, um, go and find the link to those. So I'm gonna use this image right here as my first image. And I'm going to tap the screen to get my toolbar on the right hand side opened and then I'm going to go tools and then I'm going to go mixer so once I've got my mixer I'm going to select the image I want to mix it with now this skull I want to make it I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than it actually would be so obviously if it fit his face it would sort of be um, this size maybe this size and but I want it just to be a little bit bigger than it actually should be around here like this maybe a little bit more and all i'm doing is pinching and squeezing to resize with the um, with the image with the blue um, outline and then i'm going to go tools at the bottom and i'm going to go erase and i'm going to start erasing this image and there's no real art to this i'm just rubbing my finger across the image and i'm erasing um, quite a lot of this image Okay, um, I'm just going to zoom in. So I pinch and squeeze to zoom in, just to get remove this size, this side, right here. And I don't quite want all of that. So that's. Um, I suppose I'm happy with that. I can go get rid of, remove some of this here, like so. A bit more there. Just remove that. So I'm quite happy with this image as it is now. And again, you can keep as much or um, or as little as, as you want of it. It's just really to um, to add to um, to the effect. So I've just um, deselected a raise there, and I've re um, and I've moved the um, what's left a little bit just to um, just to make it in line with his face. Once I'm happy with the location. Of where this um, of where this sort of part of the skull is, I'm just going to click the little tick button in the top right hand side. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my um, image. I'm going to go to adjust. And then I'm going to go to tools at the bottom, and then I'm going to go to basic. So basically, what I want to do now, I want to darken the area around the outside. And the way I do this is by removing some of the light. So I select brightness on the left hand side and drag the brightness down. So it just makes it um, a little bit darker. And then I go to contrast and I move the contrast up the way, not down the way. I move the contrast up the way and it makes the darks a little bit darker and the lights a little bit lighter. So if you look at on his face here, when I move the contrast up, see it makes the lights a little bit lighter. But if we look over here and the darks a little bit darker, and that's exactly what the contrast does, okay? Then we're gonna go exposure um, and the exposure, so it will make this light here really light. If I go up the way, it just exposes the light. Um, and I'm just going to just ramp that up, put, pump that up a little bit to, to three. And then offset, so with the offset, what we will notice with the offset is if we look here um, at the overall screen, it changes the the light or it makes it pitch black like so. Okay, so offset, we don't really want to do anything. All, all I was doing there was showing you um, what the offset does. 
Okay, so now I can go back to my brightness and make it again a little bit darker. So you can't see the background. Um, and then let's just pull my contrast up a little bit so it lightens his face. So that's roughly where I'm at. I'm at minus 72 on brightness, 33 on the contrast, 3 on the exposure. And then I'm going to click um, the mask tool, then the tools again, and go to details. Now the details, you could um, could change a few things with the structure. I just want to show you what happens with the structure. It just builds structure on the um, on the contours of the detail of the face. The sharpen, it just sharpens the edges of the face. So if you see, if you look at the hair, it's quite a nice um, demonstration of what the sharpen does. It sharpens the edges of the face. I'm not going to do anything with the sharpen. The blacks, um, obviously it makes them darker. Um, so this is quite nice like so. So we're going to go minus 25 on the blacks. The shadows, again, I want you to watch on the face. So the shadows, it brightens up the shadows. So if you look here on this part of the face, you'll see it brightens up this bit here. So let's just leave those shadows. And I'm just showing you exactly what they do. And then the highlights, again, if you watch this part on the face, Highlights the lighter parts, these parts, see, and um, and darkens them if you want them dark. So we're not really going to mess with the highlights either, but this is the way I want my image. Um, structure 1, blacks 25, minus 25, and the shadows 1. Um, if we go back to the tools and the basic, you'll see that what we left our settings on are still there. So I'm going to click the tick button to, um, to accept those changes. And then I'm going to go um, image adjust again and I'm going to use one of these predefined filters and I'm going to go scroll all the way up I'm going to use this withered filter right here and then with the withered filter once I select it you can see I've got a number on the li little blue thumbnail there and that's just the amount of effect that I've applied so I'm just going to drag it up and make it sort of um, up to Sort of 50s whatever whatever suits suits you whatever you think is best I've got on 59 and that's what I'm happy with then I'm gonna click the little tick button to say that I'm okay with that and then what I'm going to do I'm going to go to the canvas I'm going to go to crop I'm gonna crop this image so it's just the guy and not all this space on the left hand side little tick little tick button there so you can see that's the image we've now got. So let's go to crop again. Um, the straighten first. So once I've got the straighten selected, all I'm going to do, I'm not going to twist or, or anything, you know, like with drag and drop with my fingers. I'm just going to slide my finger either to the left or to the right of where I want the image to be. And I'm just going to go slightly to my left. So that's the way um, I want my image to sort of be offset minus eight. Click um, the little tick button like so, and we're going to go back into the same area. So we're going to go back into crop, and then we're going to go to horizontal flip. And then we're going to save this out like so with the little tick button. And then we're going to go the save button and save photo. And then, so we've got the photo saved here in the bottom left. Thanks a lot, Enlight, for um, your tutorials. Very good. Um, so the bottom left photo is what we've got selected, and that's the one we've got saved. I'm going to go back to my um, photo that I started with, and I'm going to click the back button once, so it reflips the image back to its original state. Okay. So now what we want to do? I'm going to tap the tap the screen to open up my tools, close the canvas, and I'm going to go to finalize. Then I'm going to go to border. Sorry, not border. Collage. And I'm going to have this grid collage selected. I'm going to choose my other image. So you just tap it, tap each side of the one that you want to choose. Look, and it has a blue line around it. I'm going to go to my camera roll. I'm going to select this image right here. So now we've got two images facing away from each other. And that's exactly what I want. Now let's go to tools at the bottom. Let's go to ratio and let's slide along and make this 169. So this is the ratio I want. Let's go to tools again. Let's highlight our width and minimize the width. 
So I just drag it down. So we've removed our um, our tool, our um, border from around the outside. Click the little tick button, top right hand side. Close down finalize. Let's go to brushes. Let's go to effects. Let's scroll along on our effects and go to this smoke here. Now I'm going to zoom in and I'm just going to drag on my finger. If I think I've done too much, I'm going to click the back button really lightly with my finger and just sort of sporadically. Let's have a look what this looks like. So this is quite a nice view. So I'm going to click the little tick button there. No, no, I'm not before I click the tick button. I'm going to do some little paint drops down the face here. Down the face here, look. So I select the paint drips, and then I'm just going to do a little paint drip down the faces like so. So this is quite a nice view. And then I'm going to click the little tick button in the right hand corner. And I'm going to go to tools. I'm going to go to tilt shift. With the tilt shift, you can either have it on circle, and again, you can play around with this tilt shift. Um, circle, I'm, I've left mine on the circle, like so. And then I'm going to go to intensity, and I'm going to blur the outside of the image. Let's go back to my shape. So I've got this circle. Let's just drag it down a little bit, not too much. So this is what it looks like a little bit too much, I think, that. So that's quite nice. A little bit less, quite nice. Click the little tick button. Um, let's go to um, our image. Let's go to adjust. Now this is something I'm just trying out. I just want to try this out. I want to go to um, scroll the way all the way along. Go to ink print and drag up the ink print to see what it looks like. Maybe a little bit too much. Yeah, still maybe a little bit too much. So I suppose we could apply another set of um, withered to that, just to darken it up a little bit. Look at the Crayola. Crayola's quite nice, makes a, makes a nice colour. But you get the idea, you could just sort of add your filter again. Um, click the little tick button, save that out. That's our image saved, and let's put it on the big screen for you all to see. Um, thanks a lot for, um, for watching. I hope this has helped you out with lots and lots of tools. I know it was a bit longer, and it's a bit of an advanced... Um, tutorial but um, please comment like rate whatever you want to do thanks a lot for watching I'll catch you soon bye